Hey, what's up? It's Kadichigo. Here to play a game off of Vichio called Incident at Grove Lake. I'm up a little bit too early, probably to be playing a spooky game about aliens, but yeah, uh, here we go. I don't know a whole lot about you know, what's even going on in this. I know it has to do with Area 51 and some kind of like leaked data or footage or something. Repent of your sins and turn to God. What? <laughs> that was a crazy quote to start it off with, whatever that was. Went by. A little too quick for me to even read it. Uh, no trespassing beyond this point. Uh, okay, so this is like the gates that when you get to... Yeah, it's like beyond this point, you will be shot dead in your tracks <laughs> if you try to go uh, have alien sexo. Uh, oh yeah, they got the cameras out there and everything. Is that like a ladder that's just leading up to nowhere? <laughs> the fuck was up with that? Is this us pulling up? Who pulling up to the gate? This is some government agent or something. Uh, somebody who's actually able to cross without getting shot to death. Okay, so we were watching the footage. Oh. Whoa. Do I... do I do? Initializing scan? Scan of what? My brain? <laughs> Connecting to server. Uh... Okay, so we're breaking into the mainframe here. We're going hackermans. Triangulating... Target position. Connecting to live footage. Connecting to live audio. So is this all gonna be through like found footage kind of a vibe or? Yeah, it's a uh, we're like accessing the tapes. Uh oh, there's a phone booth. Accessing audio. Who is this man? Click to begin. I appreciate you uh, taking my call. Let's get this straight. You got out, unnoticed? Medical discharge. They think I have kidney stones. Well, that's fucked. I mean, it's a good thing that you don't, but that's a crazy thing to just tell somebody. Heh, <laughs> not so smart as they think at S4, huh? Smarter than you know. So, can we meet? Sure, let's make it a public place. Dude, just like in Breaking Bad, you always want to do it in a public place. <laughs> Remember, I don't have a lot of time. Neither do I. Let's say the diner on Redacted works for me. I'll bring what I found. Good, I'll see you soon. Remember what I have risked for this. I've risked my left nut, my house, my child, my dog, everything. <laughs> I remember. Line disconnected. Okay, so... We interacted with some random person at a phone booth. I don't even know if we're supposed to be this character. I guess we're just kind of viewing this, like from a third party. Uh, did that say Nevada? 1997. Back in the good old days when I was one years old. <laughs> or September 97? Wait, I would have been two, I guess. Or no, 97. Wait. I don't know how years work. I'm dumb as fuck and I'm not fully awake. I've not had enough coffee yet. So now we're able to walk around. Oh, whoa, whoa. Here we go. Uh, I can't go in the street. I have to stay on the sidewalk. Come on, let me jaywalk. Let me be a, a, a ne'er-do-well citizen. And, and disobey the law. And disregard police. What? I, can I... I can't interact with anything? I guess we're just walking. We're just stepping down the street. Do 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 do. Uh... It's a, it's a very rainy day. This said this is in Nevada? Why do I feel like it doesn't rain like this in Nevada? Oh yeah, we're meeting at the diner, okay. Uh... I wonder who it could be that we're meeting with. We just go up and sit down? Breakfast. I like how they have the menu way over here. I mean, I guess they have the same one over here, but why would you have two menus for no reason? Talk to stranger. This stranger? Oh, is this the stranger I'm supposed to talk to? Thank you for coming. I didn't know who else to tell. I've risked so much getting here. They're following me. I don't have much time. Please, take these. Some files and just one of many tapes they have. Get this stuff to the public. They need to know before it's too late. They need to know of the UFO porno. If I don't hear from you by the 11th, I'm going public with this. I forget which day it said, but... I'm sure this is, like, not too far from then. There's a radio station I know of, you know? 
please go and be careful. They'll follow you too. All right, I guess we're taking these with us. I'm taking the secret tapes, secret docs. Wait, who are these fools? See, I can't tell like who our character is in relation to what's going on. Because like, I didn't think we were that person in the phone booth and apparently we were. Or we're just kind of like, it's, uh, yeah, experiencing this like third person and kind of through whoever this character is. I can't really tell how they're uh, trying to set this up here, but I'm enjoying it so far. It's interesting. Oh, we got a radio. Nah. Flip through the channels. Oh, I'm going to watch the tape here. All right, let's see what's going on with this. Let's see what kind of stuff they need to, uh, they need to get to the public. What's so dire that everyone needs to see here. All right. Oh, the good old blue screen of death. Following tape is a property of the United States government. Incident 17, example of encounter. The following took place August 19th through the 21st. Grove Lake redacted. Tape was discovered. Damn, that moves real quick. <laughs> uh, contact your facility supervisor on conclusion of this tape. Damn. They're getting real, uh, yeah, government official with the setup here. <laughs> That's a whole lot of information. Oh shit, and oh, we are just gonna be uh, playing through it. Seems like a good amount of this is just like kind of set up through cutscenes and then it just like variously throws you in throughout it, which I kind of like. That's kind of a cool way to set up the narrative for this. All right, we're going through the forest. I'm just trying to go for a little walk. Uh, please, nobody jump up on me and spook me while I'm just trying to uh, enjoy my nature here. I'm just taking a day for my mental health, man. Not trying to uh, get caught up in any shenanigans. So I can't run or sprint, I just simply walk. So I guess it's kind of mostly, yeah, seeming like this is just kind of a walking sim with various little interactable things, but yeah, the main thing here seems to be the uh, the visuals and the story. That is what I saw most people uh, talking about pretty positively on the Itch.io page. I kind of uh, felt that's what I was getting into here. I just didn't know what the gameplay was like and what the narrative was going to be. Why did it cut off? Why can't I continue my nice walk? I was having a good time there. Oh, who is this? Uh, I'm not sure who this fellow is. I don't think I can do anything now. Oh. Uh, are we supposed to queue in? Oh, okay. I guess I just <laughs> am going to continue my leisurely stroll after whatever the hell that was. Was this the way I was going? Yeah, I think I was going this way. Remember looking at rocks on my right. We got a sign up here. Lake. Dude, not at Grove Lake. I guess this is uh the Grove Lake they were talking about. Only at Miller Grove Lake. Um damn, how much farther is it? There's not even like a Whoa. Excuse me, birds. Yeah, there's not like a full concise path here. I'm just walking through the brush. Are you sure I'm going the right way, dude? I don't know if this is, uh, the direction the sign was even telling me to go. I feel like we were going the right way and then it just veered off to the right. That sign wasn't even pointing the right way. Oh, we got a little camp set up? Oh, was this like the vision I just had? Was the dude that was chilling here previously? Dude, I love this song. It's future, uh... Radio <laughs> military core. I don't know. Sounds like a vibe in the future. I guess this would be the past. I just discovered a new type of music that we never realized existed before. <laughs> it's just random radio people mumbling. Which, you know, a lot of people uh, could say nowadays music is all just mumbling. That's all they do on the tracks and they, they just mumble. They don't know what they're saying anymore. Oh shit, okay, where are we going? Going somewhere else? We're gonna get another glimpse of Campfire Man? Nope, just blue screen of death. Please turn supplied handbook. Page 42. I don't have no handbook. I just have this tape. The first kind. Visual sightings of a 
unidentified flying object seemingly less than 500 feet away show an appreciable, appreciable, what? Angular extension in considerable detail. The second kind, a UFO event with physical effect such as interference, animal reactions, oh god, or physical trace like impressions in the ground, scorched or otherwise affected vegetation or chemical trace. Damn, they are going hard on this right now. <laughs> the third kind, UFO encounters in which an animated entity is present. It's the little, it's the little gray boy. It's the little man. Uh, these include humanoids, robots, and humans who seem to be occupants or pilots of a UFO. It's a little Marcianito. Gotta love him, dude. There we go, we're just gonna leave Marcianito dancing down there. Seems appropriate for the, for the situation. He's just gonna chill down there. Uh, the fourth kind. A close encounter of the fourth kind is a UFO event in which a human is abducted by a UFO or its occupants. Well, that's when you actually, you know, physically have to interact with the aliens or they actually you know, physically take you away. <laughs> Alright, I'm learning about the different kinds of alien interactions, I guess, that I never really realized was a thing before. I kind of just thought aliens and they're scary and, yeah, they can abduct you. <laughs> That's all I really thought about before. Oh no, don't be looking up at the stars. I know that's gonna set up for some creepy shit. Oh no, it's just a nice shooting star. It's just nice and pretty. Don't gotta worry about anything. <laughs> it's uh, totally not something suspicious, even though it's going back the opposite way. Oh god. <laughs> no, there's three of them too. It's a whole gang of, uh, gang of Marcianito men. Where are the gray boys? I know they're gonna show up. It was telling me all the different kinds of interactions, and that was the most intense one, so I know eventually we are going to get sucked up and <laughs> have to uh, deal with all of that. Oh wait, am I the campfire guy? I guess I was campfire man. Or no, I just stayed here that fucking long? Damn, alright. So, I don't know which way is progress, so I guess this is just a dead end, okay. The end of the line where the campsite was. Time to go back this way then, I guess. Oh, okay. Well, uh, that certainly is a uh, change in pace. <laughs> I was just trying to have my nice walk back to my car or wherever I was going. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you should have just stayed at your campsite, dude. Oh my god, okay. Well, uh, that's certainly not what I would have expected a UFO, uh, yeah, like to admit as far as like the light that comes out of it. Oh my god, what is fucking happening over there? The whole ceremony. It's a whole damn circus out in the fucking forest. Oh, wow. It actually looks really sick. I know they don't, uh, give you a lot to look at as far as, like, getting up close to it, but... Oh, we're just going closer and closer into the light. Okay. That's how this is gonna go. Oh, the trees are all, like... Well, some of them are all... Yeah, tipping over and shit. <laughs> Man, uh, yeah, this definitely turned up pretty fast. Oh, God. Okay, there's a... There's a house? Wait, was this here before? Oh god, okay, the visuals are gonna definitely get a little funky here. Probably should have, uh, yeah, had some kind of warning as far as the, uh, the visuals. Who was that? Somebody just out in a field? Oh god, he's going insane, and there he goes. Oh, is this us? We're getting, we're getting checked up. Getting good old abducted. Please don't probe me, sir. <laughs> I swear I'll do. Anything else. Just, uh, anything but that, I swear. <laughs> if you could, uh, be so kind. Why do we have, like, purple Hulk pants on? <laughs> and do we, like, not have a shirt? Oh, I, okay, now I'm... I'm moving again. I guess I'm... This is on the alien ship, or... Where is this supposed to be? <laughs> Did they take me back to their planet already? Oh, well, that's great. I guess that's gonna be where I'm gonna end up. Just skewered on a tree. That's fucking great. Let's see. Keep making our way down this, uh... This delightful path here. Oh, they're just everywhere. That's great. I love to see that the aliens make such great uses of, uh... The people that they've tucked. <laughs> they're just used as ornaments to... You know, decorate their... Fucking planet or wherever we are. Oh, I don't like that noise. That noise means there is alien here. Mr. Alien Man. Oh, shit. Okay. Gonna get another little visual. 
Is it gonna be one of the dudes getting- Oh god, no! No, don't take me! No! Put me down! Ah, uh, okay, that's it. I'm getting probed. Why are we all- why do they- uh, why do they like having the people be naked? Okay! They're little fucking like baby gremlin creatures. Why do they- oh my god, they have like some kind of giant fucking drill or some shit. Oh yeah, we're gonna get, uh, gonna get experiments done on us for sure. <laughs> Who is that? Is that like the mother alien? Oh, and there we go, we wiggling. Oh my god. Wow, uh, yeah, you really couldn't have put at least like a little loincloth on my guy? <laughs> Why you're gonna make him float and wiggle like that? That's just unfortunate. Oh, and now we're... Oh, did it drop the camera back off on Earth? What the fuck? I guess this is the stuff that, yeah, somebody came by and found, and yeah, they wanted to get this out to the public, and that's what our main character was doing. Getting the information at the diner. So wait, yeah, the guy who was in the, like, footage that I think we were actually playing as, like, he died, right? Like, he's definitely dead. <laughs> we just happened to, uh, or somebody else happened to come across the footage or the tapes, I'm gonna assume. Please now contact your... Facility supervisor for psychoanalysis and debrief. It's like, yeah, you have to uh, go through a series of tests and questions after you've seen something like that. Uh, you're on a list now. <laughs> Your discretion is a matter of national security. Jesus Christ. Please eject the tape now. Yeah, it's like, you are at danger. You know too much. <laughs> there are assassins on the way to your house. Oh, Jesus, man. All right, well, uh, yeah. That was definitely, uh, yeah, an interesting game. Pretty... Yeah, pretty just, uh, impactful overall with the story. Oh, there's... I kind of figured that was going to be it. Let's see, what else we got here? Is this going to be, once they learn the information, what they go do with it? Or is it the... Is some kind of, like, government building they're going to pull up and... Oh, no. Okay, no, we got more here. I totally... Yeah, I thought they were setting up the end of the game. Oh, knock, knock. Hello? Oh, God. Yeah, see, dude? I knew it. He was like, you knew too much. I just felt like, yeah, there's no way you're just gonna, like, have this information and get away with it scot-free. All right, well, now whoever we actually were... Ah, oh, that was confusing. So, yeah, I guess you play as different entities and... Uh, yeah. Different people, like, throughout the story there, but... On September 11th talk show... Oh, that was... It went way too fast again. I really need to, uh... Yeah, slow that text down a little bit. <laughs> oh, okay, I think that's it. Yeah, there was a whole really long dialogue at the end of that, if you want to go check that out for yourself. Uh, yeah, I will link the Itch.io page down below in the description of this video. But yeah, this was a pretty interesting little game. Uh, definitely has, yeah, very uh, interesting narrative and, yeah, all kinds of uh, really insane, intense visuals and stuff going on with it, so... Yeah, definitely understand why a lot of people were uh, saying a lot of positive things about it on Itch.io. Definitely. Uh, yeah, glad I checked it out here, but yeah, we'll wrap up this video here, so just want to take a second to say thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot when anyone takes the time to check out any of the content on the channel or any of the videos, so yeah, thank you so much. It means a lot to me. If you want to give me a like on this video if you enjoyed it, or comment down below, or subscribe on the channel, come on back next time. I do all kinds of other stuff off of Vichio, and all kinds of retro playthroughs of older games from my past, and stuff I'm checking out for the first time. Right now, I'm making my way through Pikmin 4. Well, it's a newer game, but... Yeah, I've always been a big Pikmin fan, so trying to uh, get through that currently. And I have a bunch of other stuff, yeah, Itch.io content and other playthroughs and all kinds of stuff on my channel. So if you want to subscribe, come on back. That would be much appreciated. But yeah, that will do it for this video. So thank you so much for watching. Peace out. Get Itch.io.